Hey, it's Tourism Tim. In this episode of Tourism Marketing TV, I'm going to show you the critical thing that you must have on any tourism website in order to sell more travel. So we've talked about three key test uh, credibility things. Credibility statement here on every page. Uh, brief short quotes that really pop out here. So that's and, and I put big quotation marks around it in red and big mm -hmm. contrasting color and I put them in as many places as possible. You can even have the name of the person who said it. That, yeah. that's it. And then that's and which is nice because the quotes that you might put up here are actual testimonies you're going to pull from this page here. So when they go, mm -hmm. that in, so they, they've been enrolled that, wow, they, 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 they've run the types of trips I'm interested in, the types of areas, wow, they look experienced, I want to know more. And they dig in deeper, and they get to the testimony page, and they go, oh, wow, there's that, there's that quote from uh, Joe Smith from Chicago, and uh, mm -hmm. let me read more about what he said. And, oh, here's, here's, here's a video of Joe. Wow, wow, look what he, look, look at, the, look what he said. Oh, I want, I want to be like Joe. Mm -hmm. Do you follow me? Can you see the yeah. power of that? Definitely. Uh, so um, that is your opportunity um, that you need to start. You know, we could spend uh, a couple hours just going through your site and, and picking it apart. But if you just start with just looking for opportunities to create credibility, trustworthiness, and get other people communicating that for you, literally selling you for you, what you'll find is, is that your inquiries are going to go up. Your calls are going to go up, and more importantly, and I don't know if you heard Doreen say this when we did that webinar a couple weeks ago, is, and this is a neat thing that Doreen told me. She says she spends a lot less time answering questions and, 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 and trying to qualify prospects. They arrive on the calls of the email far more educated, far more excited, and a lot ready to more, a lot closer to giving that credit card. So our time selling, spend converting them to a sale is going way, way down. Would that be yeah, nice? I heard that, Tim. That, that, that would be fantastic. Um, I, I heard Doreen, and um, that's exactly where we would like to go. So, yeah. And, and, and it started just like this, Michael. It started with her site was not doing really well, or she, she's just, but she's actually been incrementally making little changes over time, and she actually just did a major ch website change. And, and she'd be the first to admit her website is not even that professional looking. She did it herself. Yours, good. yours looks graphically more professional. You had a, a, a web designer do this for you, didn't you? I, um, I had a web designer start to uh, help, me, help me off to, to kick it off and then uh, uh, I like design and graphics myself so you know I, I gave him the idea but to start off he needed to do the, the first platform and everything and then I, I've been doing the rest. Okay, great, great. Um, <clears throat> Another thing, um, look at look at SeaKayakAdventures.com. I think I referenced them in the webinar. Look at look at how um, how they use uh, testimonials, and uh, in their website they keep shifting the testimonials. In the bottom of every testimonial that's given, whatever trip they're referencing is a link from that trip, uh, right from that testimonial to that trip detail. And then, of course, on that trip, when you go to a trip. Uh, this is a great. Let's let's just, just go look at one of your treks. Let's look at uh, trekking in the Himalayas, uh, Mount Everest. Something that I would like to do. Uh, okay, that's, that's that's on my dream list. So, okay, so we're going to go to Mount Everest South, and so I'm going to jump over there. So ideally, uh, and 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 this is what you need to start working on. And everyone is watching this is on your specific itineraries when they get to that page. The most what would be the ideal thing that you'd want to have from a customer and a very from a former customer saying about uh, this page and this trip on this on this site on this page? What, what would yeah, you now now when you're saying it, you know, it would be great to have something in the top left corner where in uh, the night or the black, you know, actually we had a, the first Swedish client uh, topped out Mount Everest last year with us, and we were the first Swedish commercial expedition ever done that. So. It would be nice to have something in white, maybe yes. with his name, uh, with his name below. Yeah, that would that would be perfect. And then that that sounds very easy. Yeah, now when you're saying it, yeah, yeah. it's very easy. And then boom, it's just it's a headline. It's like whoa, mm -hmm. wow. And then that same person that's that summited Everest on that team, you'd have a a big picture of him right right here. 
and a and a really nice quote from him. Or ideally, yeah. I, ideally, and then we can all do this all incrementally. We don't have to do it all overnight. Is it would be a quote or a video from that person going, "Oh my God, Michael helped my dream come true, and we were part of the first successful team." And you know, I, I will, I will, you know, I will die a happy man because I, I got to follow my dream. Yeah, I mean, no, I, that's I, very good. And so we're just leading people down that emotional walkway of the very thing that they want to. And, 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 and when they're looking at providers, and not, I mean, how many different choices are there to, to go to the base of this, of, to, to go to, it, it, to at least to Everest, if not, if you're not summoning it, but at least going to base camp a lot, right? Yeah, a lot. A lot. So what they want to know is, is that, you know, once again, you know what you're doing. You've done it before, and others have traveled before you, and they and they and they're endorsing you, and they're saying, and that's the bottom line. Is that the ideal quote was is you want people to to be authentic, share what was the most memorable moment. This is when you're asking them for a testimonial. Say, what was the most memorable moment when you think about it right now? What comes to mind? That's mm -hmm. the past. That's the emotion that you want to have come out. And last, would you recommend um, adventure lovers in traveling with us? And um, of course, you're not going to ask anybody who was is not enthusiastic about you and your trip. But you know, what you'll find is is people are glad to do this. Do you do you have any reservation about asking people for testimonials? Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, well, I don't have like a, a fixed form. I I normally give them a call afterwards, uh, welcome them home if I haven't been there guiding with them, you know. Uh, and plus that, sending them an email, we, we're sharing photos, stuff like that, so yeah. Good. But I don't have a, a, a platform or, a, or something can, like prefixed, no. Well, it's this simple. Here, I recommend you start right away, and, and you've, already, right. you've already paved the way perfectly. That post-trip follow-up um, and reconnecting, thanking, exchanging pictures, um, ideally about a week after they've gotten home, um, and you know that from their by their travel schedule, um, mm -hmm. that is the best time to say, you know, one of the one of the greatest, you know, it's such a pleasure traveling with you, whether it's a phone, email, Skype, video. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the greatest gifts that you can give us is an endorsement and a, and a testimonials um, uh, and a referral um, yeah. and. Um, uh, but you might just start off with just you know just uh, a happy comment you know and and uh, uh, what I find is that a lot of people oh yeah Michael no problem glad to do it I'll write you out something a lot of people have really good intentions but mm -hmm. getting them to actually get off the fannies and do it is a different thing so I agree that, that. That, that's why I really like the audio call in because people is, when you say well hey you don't have to worry about writing something I've got this private phone number where you can call in and in one minute uh, share uh, you know what your most what most memorable moment is and would you recommend us and you know that's that simple and people I, I've gotten it's much easier to get a, a testimonial on the on the phone just when you give them that private number and when they call they'll be you'll be greeting them say hey Michael this is Michael with uh, with adventure lovers, it was, and you could even have it customized for just each of your trips. You could have a, a testimonial line just for your your uh, Himalayan expeditions, and you know, and you coach them. You'll be amazed what you get, and then you can, of course, transcribe those audio testimonials. You'll have your print, you'll have your audio, you have a picture of them from the trip. Mm -hmm. So, does that, is that making sense to you? Yeah, very much. Uh, Tim, can I just ask you a sh short thing back on that? Absolutely. Um, when it comes to to, um, to this great page you you mentioned before, it was um, Acrobate something where you can record uh, a phone call. Do you think that works internationally, or if people calling from Sweden, they need to dial like a, a use number, so it's going to be kind of expensive for them, or? You know how it works? Right, right. I believe they, I, I am not absolutely positive. I believe they have added international numbers. Um, uh, but what I find is so many people are using Skype to call um, international numbers and it's so cheap. Um, uh, that's usually not a problem. When people to do an Everest cl uh, trip with you, they've just spent thousands and thousands of dollars with you, right? Yeah, so it shouldn't be too expensive. So it's, 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 it's really cheap, and what you just do is you just give them the number and you say, look, here, you can call through Skype. But that's a great question. Let me get back to you on on that. But I'm pretty sure they haven't, uh, have got that. And um, But let me, let me get back to you. Okay, thanks. Uh, any other question on, on that? Uh, no, everything sounds very good as, as you 
putting it up. So yeah. Based on the the format of, of follow up, post trip follow up, and asking for referrals, that look like something you could start to do right away. Yeah. Great, great. Now we we just touched on one aspect of getting um, more credibility, more trustworthiness in your site. There is definitely more having to do with media. There's definitely more having to do with media icons. And and I would encourage you to go back through your site. Like, so here's your testimonial down here. There's a bunch of them. But you know what? They were so far down the pale. Look at that. This is wonderful. Look at and And read the full story. Look at all these testimonials. They need to be up here. You need to always yeah. sell people first on that you're a good choice. And, and once they're sold on that and convinced of that, then they're going to want to know what's included and they want to know about food and this and that. Yeah, correct. So just swap the, 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 uh, the um, locations and yeah. um, put some drop quotes in there and throw some pictures in there too. I love having them on the sidebar like that because then it, it's just, and then if they have the same look, if every one of your testimonies also always has the same box maybe in a picture and a headline and, and it always looks the same on mm -hmm. everywhere in your site, people will, will learn that oh that's a testimonial and 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 I, you know I want to read that that story because True. people love stories yeah. um, so yeah. I, I as usual I went longer than I expected but you know this <laughs> this is there's so much fun digging into to, to sites and can you see that by just making those little changes how that would create a sense of, of uh, uh, communicate your experience better and, and how that might get people um, wanting to dig a little deeper definitely Oh, yeah, I will look into it already first thing tomorrow morning. Great, great. W one last thing before we go. <clears throat> on, on your site, and this is, this is something having to do with, um, because so many of us are selling these epic trips where people have been thinking about it for years, um, we want to try to capture as many of those visitors and turn them into uh, pro prospects that you can communicate to over time. And, and um, I'm thinking, since you are, you're an expert at various areas that you travel to, and there's probably some frequent, um, when someone's considering a trip to the Himalayas, isn't there some frequently asked questions they have about that type of trip and difficulty and duration and how long and like stuff when they're trying to figure out, is, is this right for me? Yeah, yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could uh, say there's a few standard questions coming in from a lot of people. Yeah. Well, so what my thinking is, is what if you turned your answers to these frequently asked questions into some sort of uh, uh, free ebook or, or, or mini course where you're openly giving your best advice, your best experience to these people who are considering this trip, whether they go with you or not. You're just saying, look, I've been there. There's some things you want to look for and there's some things you definitely want to avoid. And, and you mm -hmm. can break it down by some of those key areas. And so it could be, you know, seven most important things so your Himalayan trip doesn't turn into a nightmare. Free ebook. Sign up here. And that needs to, or, you know, I'm just throwing out some samples, titles. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have that in a very conspicuous place. You might even have that push your nav links down here on the left and push that down and have a big, yeah. giant sign up here. So that even if people, the people go there and they go, wow, wow, these guys are experienced, you know, and they go here mm -hmm. and they see this quote here and they see, oh, your outside magazine thing here and they go, wow. Wow, look, these guys do the trip I've been dreaming of. And wow, they look like they know what I'm doing. I'm thinking about doing this in 2013. Um, you know, I need to know, oh, what's this? Oh, they go, oh, wow, here's a, here's a, a, free, a free course, a free, a free special report on, on how to make the most of your Himalayan experience. Um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, and, and it's right there. And they go, oh, I'd like to know that. So, you know, help you make the best choice. And they give you their email. Then you can start communicating with them over time um, and, and further educating them, further qualifying them, further finding out what it is um, by providing a useful content. I mean, you see me, I put out stuff all the time. <laughs> And, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm not pitching people overtly. Um, I'm giving solid information, aren't I? Absolutely, Tim. So, you know, and what, what my hope is, is that they can see, wow, you know, Tim really knows this stuff. And he's been around the block a few times. And, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, wow, he actually has some pretty good advice. And, you know, I'd like to know more about that. And so um, that works in everything. And, and I think my belief is and my experience is the more that you openly share your expertise and your advice, 
um, mm-hmm. to help, with the intention of helping as much pe- many as people possible, you you will start getting a lot of signups. That that so that that traffic that's coming to your site, whether no matter whether they stay twenty seconds or five minutes, becomes mm-hmm. someone that you can turn to, to. It's a stranger you can turn into a friend, and a friend and a customer over time. And that that may that could take six months. It can may take three years, but at mm-hmm. least you started it here in your primary doorway. Yep. Yeah, no, I do, I do agree. Sounds very good. Great, Sounds like a great. Good plan. Um, in closing, any, uh, any uh, last questions or comments or things that you want to share to the, the listeners about um, your experience of, in the business or, work or, or, or m- myself? <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm not as I can come up with right now. I'm feeling more eager to start off tomorrow morning as we have the evening here in Sweden now because it gave me a lot of new ideas Tim so I really highly appreciate that and uh, it will be extremely fun to to get them going and see how people are gonna react when, when we have them in place and hopefully in the next few days very good well I you're, you're on the right path Michael um, this is how it happens uh, just take one little piece at a time and uh, so I just wanted to focus on the some core credibility elements start with that um, if you want to shoot me some sample credibility statements um, I've seen them evolve over time by most people should be looking at feel free to shoot them to me I'd be glad to give you some opinions thanks um, and um, all I can say is I, I've stories like um, Doreen's and my brothers and so many other people who are, are truly having record sales, spending less on the marketing. Uh, their website is a, a, a huge return on investment and, and, and absolutely the number one tool to driving qualified prospect leads and sales just keeps unfolding. But you must be providing the information that, that deals with the psychology of travel consumers first and foremost. Um, yeah. And make and, and and get them feeling safe and secure and, and, and enrolled in you, then you'll be amazed what happens. So um, I really appreciate your time. And on that note, we're going to stop the recording. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.